UFO hunters are in America's heartland, investigating reports of a strange explosion and sightings of lights over Kokomo, Indiana. Less than 48 hours after the sightings, a rare earthquake hits Indiana. Bill heads to the University of Indiana to meet with geology professor Michael Hamburger and inquire about a little-known phenomenon called earthquake lights and to find out if these two events could be connected. Earthquake lights are a very enigmatic phenomenon. For many years, people had described peculiar phenomena associated with earthquakes, and a lot of scientists didn't believe that they existed. Starting in the 1960s, uh, a series of more carefully documented cases of strange lights and visual phenomena associated with earthquakes have been recorded, and now there are dozens of records associated with different uh, conditions, different kinds of earthquakes. But there certainly are some phenomena that uh, look something like aurora, some kind of uh, uh, blue and uh, hazy lights that often appear in the atmosphere. They're typically associated with large earthquakes, typically mm -hmm. right around the time of the earthquake, although some have been reported just before an earthquake, sometimes extending for some period after, after the earthquake. There are lots of different theories about what might cause it. Of course, they're sometimes mixed up with some uh, artificial phenomena, perhaps the arcing of electrical materials that have been ruptured during an earthquake and that sort of thing. I think many seismologists believe that there is some real physical phenomenon going on here, but it just hasn't been well documented enough, well observed enough. In the Kokomo area, they saw lights hovering in the sky for a long time. In your expert opinion, could that be the cause of those lights? Well, I'd say it's a long shot in any case. There are many things, of course, that can produce lights in the sky. In this case, as a seismologist, I think the critical questions I'd want to ask are, one, how close was it to the earthquake? In this case, it's about 200 miles away. Second is, what's the proximity in time? The earthquake happened a day and a half after they reported earthquake lights. And third, what's the scale of the seismic disturbance? Is it large enough to possibly cause an electrical disturbance that might produce some kind of a phenomenon like this? So those three are all kind of circumstantial arguments, but they all argue against any kind of direct connection between the earthquake and what was observed in Kokomo a few days earlier.